Greetings and salutations. This is Emperor Vespasian and this is a follow-up video to the unboxing of the um, Heroes of Erhuan box set or is it Warlords of Erhuan? Um, it, we did it. I think it broke down into three different videos and this is the complete unboxing with everything painted up and this is all the stuff you get inside the box uh, not the buildings at the back but this is the rather nice little building that you get with it um, it's relatively easy to put together um, the roof was fun because I didn't really like the effect that you had on the roof so I added tiles to it to make it look a little bit better and that's the thing in its entirety so it's a nice little starter for when you begin your project you got a nice building to begin with and then we have the heroes who are all here and then these are the on both sides of the plastic samurai you get in the box uh, samurai and uh, ashigaru that you get in the box uh, so we'll go with the heroes first uh, this guy first is a warrior monk <coughs> and he is wearing samurai armor underneath his clo cloak and he looks quite good he's armed with a bow uh, that's a B-O, not B-O-W, uh, which is a fighting staff. And he's also got himself a samurai sword. Uh, monks were very, very good soldiers. So that's what this guy is. He's a warrior monk. I've got quite a few warrior monks knocking around now. And um, This guy, he's a lord of, of some kind, or it could just be a, a samurai. Um, we're going to be using him as a lord in our games. And he's quite well kitted out, refined clothing. He's got himself a samurai sword. And I would assume he's probably got armor underneath there as well because most tended to. Now, next one. Right, this guy, if we can get focus, is pretty, pretty odd. Um, he's covered in feathers and he has himself a samurai sword and a, what's it, what is it? Uh, Testubo, I think it's called, uh, which is the sort of club or mace that the that the Japanese used at the time, and he looks quite nice. He's got samurai armor on, but no helm. And then we have this uh, lady carrying a banner, and uh, she has the banner of uh, Takagawa. Oh, that's what I painted her as. And she's going to be the standard for the Takagawa forces. Uh, we have this guy here who looks straight out of, um, is it 13 Assassins? Love this guy. Um, he appears to be some, possibly a Ronin, or he could be anything really. Equipped with a sword, which has got a little bit of blood on it because he's been fighting. Then we have the next one who is one of my favourite figures. I love this guy. Um, he's a little bit overweight, um, still packing the samurai armor, and he's he's not the sort of guy you want to mess with. He's got the two-handed sword, although technically samurai sword's two-handed, so technically in Europe a samurai sword would be a long sword. Um, but this is definitely a two-handed sword designed for cleaving people in twain, and it's pretty good. I like that one. This guy here, that is the ninja assassin. Ninjas are awesome. Um, so he is throwing a throwing knife. Um, what's the throwing knife called? Can't remember. I can't remember. No, uh, they did use darts. Uh, shuriken. Oh no, shuriken. Ah, oh, let's think. Well, modern day terms, shuriken are little like five or six pointed stars that you throw um, in back then they were darts like the Romans used like the plumbata so you have feathers on the end and you threw it in the air and it came down on the heads of, of people you were throwing it at um, then we have the grappling hook and he's got a sword on his back which is definitely a no-no I'm told um, you don't carry swords on your back but I suppose if you're traveling long distances um, might be easier to carry a sword on your back not sure then we have this guy who is a bowman 
Um, I've added a flag to the figure because the figure didn't have a flag with it. It just didn't have any flag on him. So I've added the flag. I couldn't really do it to any of the other figures, but I did it to this one. Oh, and the flag fell off. That's just, that's a typical that is. I'll fix that later. Right. And here we have a assassin. Uh, she's dressed up as a geisha or whatever the Japanese, the Japanese version of a geisha is, I suppose. And she's got knives in her back hand, probably throwing knives. She's got two of them. And she's hiding her painted face under a fan. Fan? Fan. Yeah. I'm sure there's a technical name for it. Right, then we get to the actual figures that you get in the box. We have this guy here. He's a samurai. Um, you get a collection of samurai. And I've painted up sort of one samurai in each of the colours we've chosen to play with. Um, he's painted up as the Hoshikawa, Hosaka Hoshikawa clan. Um, then we have um, these guys here. These are paint. Uh, he's painted up as Ordo, which is one of my favourite clans. And these are the troops who accompany. Uh, this is an Ashigaru with his bow. And here we have another Ashigaru with a musket and he's loading the musket. So that's quite good. Then we have the Takagawa. Or Tokugawa. Tokugawa. And that's the cavalryman on the back. He's got his cloak on the back and he's He's quite a nice little figure I put together. Um, he's wearing the mask. And there's a foot samurai doing exactly the same. So he's come out quite well. And then we have the obligatory Ashigaru. These are the regular infantry. Um, these are probably going to end up being my favourite troops because they have a long spear and that way I can keep bad guys away from me with the long spear. Um, then we've got another musketman firing his gun or arquebus. I think musket would probably be closer. Uh, matchlock or firelock. Let's think. Hang on. No, it'd be firelock, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, because they used a burning match to fire. So that would be firelock. Uh, Matchlock, I believe they used a striking pan. So that's a bowman with his longbow. And we have another guy firing just here, just loosing off a shot towards the enemy. And that's the Tokugawa troops, I believe. Yes, Tokugawa. Uh, then we get over to these guys. Uh, these are not mine. Uh, these are one of one of the household members has claimed this particular clan for themselves. And this is the Imagawa. I think it was chosen because it has a comb as a, a representation and it looks a little bit like Cthulhu. So there you go. So that's the samurai on horseback. And here is a samurai on foot who looks pretty awesome. I do like that. I like the paint scheme as well. Um, I didn't choose it. And there you go. Uh, um, yeah. I think the Imagawa used green or are depicted as wearing green. Um, I went with green and blue when it came to painting them because I thought the blue looked better because originally it was going to be green and black or green and red and I didn't like either of those. Um, so I, I used a little bit of artistic license on painting them. I mean our game has skeletons in it so you know I'm not, I'm not taking it too seriously. Um, we have skeletons, so samurai skeletons, and I don't remember samurai skeletons being a real thing in real life, so I don't really care if the colours aren't exactly right. Uh, then we have this chap here, another musket guy, and bowman. So there's quite a few poses you can use, you can pretty much go to town on what you're doing with the figures. Um, they can be in, because the hands are open, you can position troops in almost any pose you want. And I've done a, I've done a variety of different poses before I came to painting them and then I just painted them at random in different colours. 
so that's the samurai for the um, Takeda that's it the ones with the weird triangles uh, so he's a Takeda samurai in red armor and he is a Takeda horseman firing his bow um, this is a samurai firing, firing a bow which is quite nice then we get this guy who's just a regular samurai on horseback and the reason that Takeda's got three horses is because we did have an argument over who'd get what and uh, given that Takeda kind of mastered riding uh, they, they invented the cavalry in Japan um, I thought that it would probably be best that Takeda got the balance of the horses and here's a samurai he's got heads hanging from his horse which is quite disgusting and a I think that's Naganata um, it's not the normal weapon they use on horseback and uh, that's uh, oops that's this one and this one this blade here is the tips designed to punch through armor um, whereas that is designed to slash and hack so that's the guy there and he's got his cloak on the back so that's him that's the entire collection quite a lot um, you, I'm trying to think how much I think it's about 70 odd pounds the box set um, the heroes of or warlords of Urshwan or heroes of Urshwan um, the heroes you can get as a separate box that's these guys here and these are just a small collection of samurai that you get in the box um, you get I think uh, five samurai I think um, a number of Asigaru I can't get a page up now so here we go we have Uh, six mounted samurai, uh, five foot samurai, uh, five um, Ashigaru armed with ranged uh, uh, close combat weapons, which is these guys here. You get five of these, and then you get ten uh, Ashigaru armed with bows and muskets, sort of missile troops. And that's basically everything you get in the box. Um, I think the box is just worth it for the characters more than anything else, because you get the additional samurai on top. So you can add these samurai to your existing samurai and you get all the heroes and it's just a slightly cheaper way of getting them because um, you can also buy the boxes separate anyway. Um, it's really a starter army but I think you can play with it straight out of the box. So there you go. Um, so that's everything I've got to say. It's been a great little project. Um, it took me a while to get them finished because I was trying to get hold of the um, I ran out of tufts to put on the bases and so they had no bases for quite a while and I've only just got them based. So that's it. That's the entire collection. Um, I'll put a gallery at the end of close-ups of all the figures uh, so you can have a look at them or you can just drop out now. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Leave any comments in the comments section and subscribe if you feel like it. Uh, this has been Imperator Vespasian. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.